So along with forged wheels comes a few questions. What are they? How are they made? Why are they usually so expensive? And what's the deal with that Koenig Forge line? Let's get into it right now. What's going on my friends? I am Scott from Koenig and today we're back with another informational video where we give you some information about forging because we've talked a lot about flow formed wheels and traditional cast wheels and some other different things, but today we're gonna to spend some time specifically talking about the forge process and how a forge wheel comes to creation. So now when it comes to forging, you probably heard this term even when it's not used to describe the construction for wheels because forging is a process of essentially pounding down material that's usually metal uh, to basically uh, condense the material to the point where the material becomes stronger. And with that, we can use some of that forging process on wheels to essentially remove mass that we don't need because the wheel is now stronger. So there are three terms that we usually hear when it comes down to wheel production. Casting, forging, flow forming. All right, so let's talk about the steps of the forging process. Number one, we have to compress that material. So what's gonna happen is there's actually a mold that is going to sit uh, on top of this press. We use a 10,000 ton press and essentially under heat, we're gonna take that raw aluminum billet and we're going to press it on to the shape of this mold. And what's gonna happen is like, just like a die, we're going to be left with a wheel that's about an inch thick all the way through, but it's gonna be shaped into a profile that looks like a barrel that has the same shape of the profile that we need to essentially cut out with a CNC. We're gonna take this raw profile, it's going to go onto a CNC where a program is gonna be specified based off of what fitment and what application we're trying to uh, develop. And it's going to cut the design out of this profile and it's gonna remove all the material that we need. Now, one thing that we didn't talk about that we have done way before we ever get here is FEA, FEA process is essentially a computer-aided model where we're going to simulate a design under certain loads based at a given load rating that we're desiring for a particular application. We're gonna simulate impact tests, road hazards tests. We're gonna do all these things in the model of the computer, and it's gonna give us a very specific readout based on the material that we're using. And because we can do this, we can essentially decide roughly how strong the wheel needs to be, how thick it needs to be, what areas that thickness needs to be in. And this way, when we set it up onto the CNC and we remove that material, we know we're removing material that isn't needed to achieve the load rating that we need. All right, so we're moving on here. We, we forged the wheel, we got the material, we have a shape, we've cut it on a CNC. So now what happens is the wheel has to go to final finishing and it's going to then go into any machining, painting, it gets tested uh, for run out and different things like that, and then the wheel is essentially packaged and brought over to you. All right, let's look at the benefits of a forged wheel. The first one you're gonna be looking at is a higher tensile strength. That means that the wheel will be stronger and more rigid than maybe a traditional cast wheel, and because of that, you'll find the ability for us to be able to remove weight, which brings us up to number two. Usually with a forged wheel, you will find a wheel that is either higher load rated at the same given weight as maybe a traditional design, or you will find yourself in a way where the wheel weighs less. And that's because with the higher tensile strength, we can remove aluminum that's not required to meet that same load rating. One of the pieces that I think I wanna stress the most with forged wheels, and this is probably its largest benefit, and I know it's overshadowed by people saying how it's strong and the losing the weight and the whole thing. It's really fatigue. What I mean by fatigue is the fatigue of the material. Wheels are a wear item, and that's true. Every wheel will have a given life expectancy, and that life expectancy is basically determined by how much you use it, how hard you use it, and the stresses that that wheel will see throughout its lifetime. This is where a forged wheel really does shine. If you were to use a forged wheel versus every other type of wheel construction, you will find that forged wheel to last much longer without suffering product uh, damages. And that's because the forging strength doesn't just hold up in the sense of being able to resist impact and shock damage. It also allows the wheel to remain structurally stronger longer. And that's really important, especially if you're gonna be using these wheels on a racetrack. If you're using them in an environment where you're looking for 
constantly pushing the envelope and you're gonna use this wheel in repeated cycles, that's where a forge wheel really does shine. Now our focus when we created this line may have been to make sure we're servicing the motorsport community that we have for decades. However, this doesn't mean this can't be used on the street. In fact, it's very much the opposite. These wheels will work perfectly on some of the most popular passenger car vehicle fitments out there to date. And we have gone painstakingly through and will continue to increase our applications and our fitments as we go forward. But you're gonna see some really crazy niche fitments, especially ones you've never seen from us before, such as Porsche and Corvette. I do wanna talk about the cost element because it's a really kind of an important factor when you start to make a wheel choice. You've heard me talk about flow form wheels, traditional cast wheels and forge wheels in the sense of suggesting kind of who should buy who. And that's kind of no different even because we're talking about forged wheels. Remember that forged wheels do have a price tag attached to them. They are more money. And the reason they're more money is because of the way that they're developed. We talked about the pressing and the tons and all the different things, but it's the amount of stages that a wheel has to go through and all the machining time and the development time that it takes to make every single forged wheel. We introduced Koenig Forge because we, for decades, have been making wheels that have been used in countless forms of motorsport, professional and grassroots level, but the grassroots community has been asking us for the past six years or so to please give them something to go to when they get to a point where they're ready to exceed using a flow formed wheel. Now, a flow form wheel is the best bang for the buck that you can get. And just because we have a forge line doesn't mean that that changes. Flow forming technology produces a wheel that's going to have similar properties to those found in the forging process, especially in the barrel of the wheel, and it's going to have a wheel that comes with a great amount of benefits that sometimes you can see in the forge process. However, it's not in the face, and that's where the difference comes in in a forge product. Now, if you know us, you know that regardless of what development we're doing with wheels, whether it be flow formed or this forge line, we put a lot of time into this forge line to make sure that we were doing something unique that we don't believe most other forged wheel companies are doing. Every single part number, every single fitment has a different profile wheel. Because what we have done is we have looked at every single part number and we have made a decision on who we feel is going to be using and running these wheels. Which cars, which fitments, which brake kits. And we have tried to make the wheel as concave as possible on every wheel based on the brakes and the cars that it was supposed to fit. Now, we believe that no other wheel manufacturer is doing it like this. And because of that, we are excited to be able to show you a product that when you buy for your car, you'll know that you got the most amount of concavity out of that particular design. And that's also a major part of some of the development that we have done where we tried to make sure that we were considering all the big brake kits for those applications and all the popular aftermarket big brake kits that most of the racers today will be using on these vehicles. I think most of the people here at Koenig were car enthusiasts. And, and with that said, uh, we tend to go to the track uh, as much as we can. We build every single wheel exactly how we would want it for our vehicles. And, uh, and I think that this Forge line absolutely knocked that out of the park. I, I think you're gonna be really excited with the product that you end up getting. I think it's something that's really special. I'm pretty excited about it. So my friends, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that some of this was informational. I know I got a little silly at the end, but the reason is because I'm just so happy that we're able to bring this product to market and I'm happy that we're able to offer you something that I know will check all the boxes. If you have any other questions, throw them down below. Don't forget to head over to KoenigWheels.com where you can find the latest on our forged wheels. And that's it for this one. We'll catch you on the next one.